Hi friends, today let's put Seneca Crane from The Hunger Games into the spotlight. Seneca Crane is the head game maker in charge of the 74th Hunger Games. At first it was a reminder of the rebellion. It was a yes. price the districts had to pay. His role is to control the events of the games and give them a special flair or difference which means they'll be remembered. This is your third year as game maker. What defines your personal signature? Seneca gets his name from Lucius Aeneas Seneca, also known as Seneca the Younger. Seneca the Younger was a philosopher and playwright in ancient Rome. He held a seat in the Senate, but was later exiled. This link to ancient Rome is seen throughout the Hunger Games series, especially from people who come from the capital. The name Seneca means old, which means Seneca the Younger actually means old the Younger. His last name, Crane, could be a link to the bird. Cranes are symbolic of happiness, longevity, and good fortune. These are all things that someone born in the capital, and especially someone with a really good job, could expect to have in their life. Unfortunately, Seneca definitely didn't have the longevity, considering he died. He doesn't seem very happy, and I wouldn't say he's got a lot of good fortune, because again, he was forced to die. I like you. Be careful. There aren't many differences in Seneca's character between the book and the movie, but the differences that do exist are pretty big. Camus never actually finds out the name of their head game maker in the book, nor does she ever describe him. She sees the game makers as a unit, and because she's an unreliable narrator, she never makes a point of noting down anything specific about each individual. However, in the movie, we obviously see what Seneca Crane looks like, and we do find out his name in this movie instead of in the second movie, whereas Katniss only finds out his name in the second book. Seneca, why do you think we have a winner? We also just generally see more of Seneca Crane in the movie than we do in the book. In the book, we only see him through Katniss's eyes, so anything that happens while she's not there, we as the audience don't get to see. But for the movie, we do see scenes where Katniss isn't present. There's scenes where Seneca Crane is talking to President Snow, and especially there's scenes where we see Seneca Crane in the control room for the Hunger Games. Uh, she's heading towards the left flank. Okay. Can you give me a tree right there? Sure. Seneca definitely dies in both the book and the movie. If Seneca Crane had had any brains at all, he would have blown you to bits then and there. But here you are. I expect you can guess where he is. However, we don't know exactly how he dies. We know from Plutarch that Seneca committed suicide. Seneca decided to quit breathing. However, did he do so by eating the poisonous berries? Did he hang himself like Canna suggests, or did he do something else? Decided. Is that her poison berries? Wes Bentley, who played Seneca Crane, was a little bit salty about how his character was received by fans. He quickly noted that the character's beard had more fan pages and more fan interaction and involvement than the character or himself did. Speaking of this legendary beard, it wasn't a fake and it wasn't makeup, it was a genuine beard that Wes Bentley had to grow out. Because it was actual facial hair, every day that Bentley came into film, they had to groom his beard again. Even just basic upkeep of it would take two hours every day. This means that though Bentley really wanted to be able to keep the beard after filming, he realized it was just not going to be possible for him to maintain it on a daily basis. How do you think Seneca Crane died? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! Thanks for watching this video and thank you to my Patreon bubblers for supporting the channel. If you want to see any of my other Hunger Games videos, you can click on the box on the left to find out if Seneca Crane was secretly a rebel, or you can click on the box on the right to find out quite a few facts about Plutarch Heavensby. Thanks for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell.